Hi guys, this is OS again, back with another Jajuri Love AutoCAD 2016 Essential Training. In this video, you will draw an AutoCAD most common object line. Before we begin, I'm going to make sure that we toggle off anything on the status bar. So toggle off display grid, toggle off your snapping reference, toggle off your 2D reference points, pretty much everything you need to turn off except this icon. What it is basically, it's a hardware acceleration. So if you turn it off, your AutoCAD will not work properly, uh, it will lag a little bit. So I would just recommend that, just keep it on. You can actually hide it by clicking here and you can hide it here by unchecking graphics performance, it will go away. If you check it again, it will come back. So I'll turn off everything on the status bar. So. So now we can draw a line without any distraction. So let's get started. On the draw panel, go to the line tool and click on it. So now pay attention to the status bar, what it says. It's saying line specific first point. So what it means is basically choose the first point where you want to start a line. So I'll just go and click anywhere on the, on the screen. I click here. As you can see that now we got another option down here, it says specific next point or undo. So if I click again here, it will draw a line. As you can see the lines command is still working. So you can draw as many lines you want, as much lines you want. And what it's doing is it's basically creating a separate object. Let's say I'll select this part of the line and as you can see it's a then click here and start drawing my line. As you can see now, when I just finish my second object and I get another option here saying close. So what if I just press C and enter? Or uh, there's another way, you can actually come up here and then click on close. What it was gonna do is it's gonna actually close the line the way it started. So the first object we started making, it's gonna go all the way there and close it. Okay, now we have a look at the time sensitive line. So let's say I'll draw another line. I'll start from here and then I'll finish here. And now I'm gonna go and click right on the mouse. And now you can see I've got close and undo options here, but we've got a few more options here. But I'm just gonna click enter for now. Time sensitive right click. You can go to option by clicking here and going option or you can just type OK on the keyboard and press enter or spacebar it will take you to the options and now on the user preferences there is one option there right click customization click on it and turn on time sensitive right click so what it does basically let's say you want to draw a line and then to close the command you always have to press enter or spacebar but now we can use right click on the mouse before this 250 millisecond and it will work as enter or spacebar so let's go and draw another line okay i'm gonna go and draw another line i'll just click on the mouse wheel hold it and i can pan around as well and i've shown you this um in the previous video so i'll just draw a line now go up go up go up and now to end the line, I can press spacebar, enter. But now what I can do is, if I right click, it will do the same thing. As you can see now, it gets really efficient by working a lot of um, projects on a big project. So if you have the right click as enter, then you can just type it, just quickly click on it and then close the command. And to go back to the previous command, you can quickly right click on the mouse and it will start a line again. So that's pretty pretty good way to work on a bigger project. So you don't have to go all the way there to click on the line. So just right click, it will start the previous command. Let's go and turn on this dynamic input. And now I'm gonna go and start a new line. And now you can see when I go down here on my workplace, I see those two interactive elements. These are basically our X and Y. Let's say if I move my mouse to the right, as you can see the X element, which is the first one, is increasing. If I go up, 
you can see the y element is increasing so now we have this interactive elements by turning on this dynamic input so I go ahead and start the line and now so now as you can see we have different controls we got the angle of the line we got the length of the line and now if I move around you can see that the coordinate system changes as well and the angle changes as well so the zero degrees is x axis to the right horizontally and 90 degrees is vertically straight up okay to show you guys how this dynamic input works I'm gonna go and change my units to architecture to do that I'll just type unit on the keyboard and you get this dialog box so now change this to architecture precision I'll keep at 1 by 8 and our insertion scale is inches so click OK and now let's say I draw a line I start a line by pressing L and right click or spacebar or you can enter as well so I just go type spacebar and then now I start the line from here let's say from here so now if I go to the right as you can see I got two electric elements one specifying the length of the line and the other one is the angle so what I'm gonna do I'll just go and say let's say I'll click here and I want to draw a line about two feet or three feet yep so what I do is but I want to draw it to 45 degrees angle and I can't it's really hard to specify the 45 degree angle by dragging the mouse so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type I'm gonna press tab and it's gonna take me to the next invective element over there I'm gonna type 45 and enter as you can see now that what line was drawn by 45 degree angle so now let's say I'll go and I want to draw a line that much length and but I want to draw minus 45 degrees so let's say the angle would be minus 45 so I'll just leave my mouse here and then press tab again and minus 45 degrees and once you press enter as you can see now the line is drawn on minus 45 degrees you could go 90, 180, 225 let's say if I go 225 now I'll keep that length and I go 225 so as you can see oops I actually typed the length of the line okay so now I'll show you another thing now what you can do you don't have to end the command if you draw a line mistakenly what you can do you can always go click undo or you can type U and spacebar or right click it will go back to the previous stage and now to undo I'll show you one more thing here is basically anything come up on the status bar on a command line sorry you need to pay attention to it so let's say on the close the C is blue that means if you want to turn on this command you need to type C anything come up here you look at it and then say whatever is blue on a on a command that means you type that letter and press enter right click or spacebar that will toggle that on so for now I type C and spacebar it will go back to the starting point of the line on the status bar we got an option here called ortho let's say if I toggle that on and I go to line start drawing a line and now if I move my cursor it's taking only four angles 0, 90, 180 and 270 so what ortho does is it just gives you four angles it keeps you on, on a track let's say you want to draw a line on x-axis you can turn on ortho and you can keep your mouse wherever you want and draw it will draw a straight line on a zero degree so let's say you turn on the ortho and you are in the middle of drawing a line I'm going to give you a shortcut key to turn it off and turn it on if you press F8 it will toggle off ortho you can toggle back on by pressing F8 alright guys thanks for watching that's it for line
and I hope I covered pretty much everything about line, drawing lines in AutoCAD. So if I missed anything, just drop down a comment and I will try to answer your question. And thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. In the next video we will look at the circles.